This is DD. This is true investment right here. We're talking about really digging deep into our investments, okay? People are saying, are we still in the bull run? Is, is cryptocurrency going to crash? The ultimate Cardano Gematria guide. Today, we're going to be going over the base words in cryptocurrency for Gematria, Cardano ADA words, and we're going to get into my bullish thesis using Gematria and my bearish thesis using a Gematria for this investment Make sure you watch the full video today, guys, because this one is a banger. What's up, everybody? Art Turner, Data Productions Media. Dreams are tangible aspirations where we scheme our dreams into existence. I have a really good video for you guys today. As you saw in the intro, we're going to be talking about Cardano. And yes, I am invested. I saw the dip. In cryptocurrencies over the, the the late last weekend into the weekend and I said hey you know what why not get in and, and get my feet wet and, and start learning about the cryptocurrency space but what we do on this channel is not only look at you know fundamentals technical tools but we also really use gematria to get the vibrations on and make sure we're making a good long-term investment I am NOT a financial advisor this is just for entertainment and education purposes, but I am an active investor, and on this channel, we're going to try to get to the money. Um, so I have some jam-packed information we're going to go over today, Gematria-wise, and uh, see if you know long-term Cardano is an answer to our uh, investing problems and making more money. So... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get over. Uh, we're gonna talk about Cardano. We're gonna get into the base words in cryptocurrency and the base words in the actual Cardano platform and the the crypto coin ADA ADA. And then we're gonna get into my bullish thesis and my bearish thesis. And then we'll finish up this video. Um, but first, let's look at the chart today. It's Monday, April twenty sixth, and you know. Early Monday morning, Cardano is at a dollar twenty-three. I have hundred eighty-eight coins. I bought on the dip late last week into the weekend at around one ten. As we see, yesterday was it yesterday? Yep, yesterday it got all the way down to uh, one oh four, one oh three. So you know, people are saying, "Are we still in the bull run? Is, is cryptocurrency going to crash?" You know, I don't know. I, I can't answer that for you, but in my honest opinion, I wouldn't mind seeing Cardano get under a dollar because, you know, I got money waiting for it under a dollar. I just wanted to get a starter position just to say, hey, I'm in the game. Um, but, you know, I would like for it to get down under a dollar because obviously long term, I do think it's going to be a good investment. And I'm going to show you today using Gematria. OK, I got a quote for you guys before we get into the codes. We're going to be going over the base words, but we're going to be going over the 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 uh, the world controllers who control the cryptocurrency market and essentially any market economically that we deal with. Um, so before we get into the actual Gematria codes, I just want to bring up this quote from Sun Tzu because we have to understand the game that we're playing and what we're up against. Okay, this isn't we're in 2021, so people need to realize. You know the, the the stock market, cryptocurrency market, anything within the the, the the material world is controlled by other people, and so I'm not necessarily trying to to fight the matrix per se because that's not really going to help since we're playing their games. But I'm gonna try to help everybody dance with the matrix. All right, if we dance with the matrix, we can do some positive things for the world and make some money in the process. Not necessarily always just combat a bit but you know try to co be cohesive with it but anyway let's get to the sun tzu quote if you know the enemy and know yourself you need not fear the result of a hundred battles if you know yourself but not the enemy for every victory gained you will also suffer a defeat if you know neither the enemy nor yourself you will succumb in every battle all right, this is great strategy, a great lesson from Sun Tzu, the art of war. The art of war. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not to fear the result of a hundred battles. So if you know what you're up against and you know yourself, you have the best opportunity to win in whatever game you're playing. 
if you don't know yourself and you don't know your enemy, you know, you're probably not going to fare well at all. You're just going to get your lunch taken. And if uh, you know yourself but not your enemy, you might have a plan. But if you don't know what you're going up against, um, you're not going to win as much as you want. So let's keep that in mind. And let's get into the gematria base words in cryptocurrency. And you'll understand where I'm coming from and why this quote's important when it comes to the world controllers. It's going to be a mind blower. Okay, cryptocurrency base words. The reason why I want to go over cryptocurrency uh, words in general first before we get into the Cardano ADA words is because obviously the crypto world overarches the actual, uh, the, you know, the ticker itself. Um, so when it comes to investing long term and looking at Gematria, the alphanumerical system, and looking, you know, for vibrational patterns and connections, we have to start at the very top of the umbrella, and then we can start getting it getting smaller. So let's go start with the cryptocurrency base words first. We see cryptocurrency equals 204 in English ordinal, 78 reduction, 174 uh, reverse ordinal, and 75 in reverse reduction. Blockchain equals 78, 42, 92, 57. All right, keep all these numbers in mind. Not every number is going to play a huge role, but hey, if you do your own research and you see a connection, you can look back at this video and see. Crypto equals 97, 34, 65, 29. Blockchain platform equals 179, 80, 307, and 100. Public blockchain platform equals 242, 107, 406, 136. Decentralized finance equals 178, 97, 362, 110. DeFi, short for decentralized finance, equals 24, 24, 84, 21. Decentralized apps equals 261, 117, 414, 144. And then D apps equals 56, 20, 79, 25. All right, quickly, I'm just going to go over some because I've obviously done more research. I'm just going over some of the real key words that uh, they're going to come up. So uh, 42 is going to be important for blockchain, crypto 34, 65, blockchain platform 307 is going to play a role. DeFi 84 is going to play a role, 21 is going to play a role, decentralized applications 144 in reverse reduction, that's going to play, play a big role. And obviously, D apps 56. Obviously, if, if you've been following me Gematria wise, if you know anything about Gematria, you know 56 is going to be a big number. But I have, I have a mind blower for you soon as we get into the world controllers who control the markets. And then 25 is going to be a big role. So, those are the base cryptocurrency words that you should keep in your mind. And have that in your head as we go further. So next, let's get into some more base words in general of, of the era we're in. So you know we're we're in the the CV era, the coronavirus era. Um, I'm not going to say that word too much. I'm going to say CV virus. So we're still in the CV illness era. And if you understand Jamatra, you've been working with Jamatra, you'll know 56 is a major number. Why is 56 a major number? Well, because the supposed world controllers are the society of Jesus, who equal 56 as well. Um, you know, if you're not necessarily hip in, into Gematria or uh, enlightened or awakened to what's happening in the world and who the world controllers are, just know that these guys right here are most likely the culprits behind it. I can't tell you for certain, but a lot of research goes back to these guys. And 56 
is a major number because they like they have to show you uh, what they do so they can get away with it. Because if you don't do anything about it, you know, it's technically not their fault. So anyway, Society of Jesus equals 56 in the purest reduction cipher, along with the CV illness equaling 56. Okay. And, you know, also the Society of Jesus, their their name, I guess their shorter name would be the Jesuits. Okay. Or Jesuit. And so Jesuit equals 84 in English ordinal, ordinal just like how d5 equals 84 in reverse ordinal you see that connection already and it equals 21 in reduction okay 21 is going to be playing a big role you see d5 in reverse reduction cool and then 42 42 blockchain and oh look 78 in reverse ordinal and 78 in ordinal so you see the the jesuit blockchain connection we know who, who runs the game okay we understand that we know who runs the game and then we have the plural with uh 22 22 is going to play a little bit of role and obviously we're in the era of the short squeeze and stocks dogecoin cryptocurrency everything's going up to the moon um so 56 obviously is a big role who controls the short squeezes well we've already went over them and so this is this is where it gets mind bending, mind blowing. So we know about 56, right? All right, we know the world controllers like 56. So let's get into the date that you know the uh, the Jesuits were founded, which was September 27th, 1540. Now we'll get into more Cardano was first initially released on that same day in 2015. You don't believe me? Let's do it right now. You see, initial release, 27th of September. Well, it says 2015 anyway. The initial release is 2000, uh, 27th uh, of September. And I guess uh, it began development in 2005 and it was launched in 2017. Okay, cool. Anyway, September 27th. And you see, they were formed on the 27th of September as well. So you see that connection? We, we should already be putting that together. All right, we know who controls Cardano. How do we make money off it? Let's keep going. So this date's important because it leaves 95 days left in the year on September 27th. Why is 95 important? Why is 95 important? I had a brain blast on this um, a couple of days ago. And I want to give a shout out to one of our subscribers, Nate, because he, he was just telling me how if you look at digital clocks a certain way, they come out with different mirroring numbers. So I, I looked at that. I'm like, wait, 95 looks very similar to 56. It flipped. And that's when it occurred to me. If it's on a digital scoreboard or clock, they are um, they are exact mirror flips. 56 is a flip of 95. If you flip it over, 56 turns into 95. If you flip 95 over, it turns into 56. That's major. Because you know the world controllers, the Jays here, they're considered illusionists. And 56 is big for them. So it would make sense... That 95 would be a big number for them because that's the illusion of 56 on the flip. All right, you think I'm crazy? We're going to go into this. And this, we're going to get into Cardano, but you have to understand these things before you get into any stock. This is DD. This is true investment right here. We're talking about really digging deep into our investments, okay? So let's go further. 56 and 95 are numbers of the Jesuits. What's in reverse ordinal? 560. In Gematria, zero is just the value placeholder. So 560 is just 56. 56. Okay. 95. And then you will understand 
200 one is a big number as well with these guys. 56 and 95 are Jesuit numbers. So that's why we get 201. You would understand that number. As you see, look, the Jesuit order, 201, bop, bop. You see the connection. Oh, you also see the connection, 84. We talked about 84 quite a bit. 84 is big. 84, cool, cool. Um, and then, so look, illusionary, 56, 56. What's the illusion of 56? 95. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And then the illusionists, because they are illusionists, no wonder, 95, reverse, reduction. Um, yep, and yep, yep. So 144 is going to play a major role when we get to the bullish thesis. You will you guys are just about to see 144 is about to get uh, really, really good. 144, these are good. You see, but you see, look, look decentralized applications, 144. The order, 144. So, okay, you guys are working with me. Now, let's get into the uh, the Cardano ADA base words, okay? And then we're going to keep going. So, boom, off the bat, Cardano equals 56 in the English ordinal, 29 reduction, 133 reverse ordinal, and 43 in uh, reverse reduction. So off the bat, you see 56, bop. Then you have Cardano ADA. We have 62, 35, 208, 64. ADA, 6, Lovelace, 75, 30, 141, 42, 42. Ada Lovelace, 81, 36, 216, 63. The date of uh, the Cardano release. September 27th, there is, I guess, discrepancy if it's 2015, 2017. But anyway, the launch was on September 27th, the 95th day of the year. Ashley does have 26 date numerology, 44 date, 71 date, 24 date, 51 date. All important stuff, but obviously 95 days left in the year with the world controllers. So the uh, Cardano, the platform is named after... Geronimo Cardano. So Ger Geronimo equals 86, 41, 130, 40. Then the full name Geronimo Cardano equals 142, 70, 63, 83. The co-founder, the founder, the big guy, uh, Charles Hoskinson, 190, 73, 242, 89. Then Charles equals 66, 30, 123, 42, then his last name equals Hoskinskins, equals 124, 43, 119, 47. The other co-founder, Jeremy Wood. Then you have Jeremy, which equals 76, 31, 86, 32. Then you have Wood, uh, 57, 21, 51, 15. So we have that 51 date numerology. We also have that 21, remember 21, going back all the way up here. You see the connections. I mean, look. Remember, know your enemy and know yourself, right? And then let's start getting into what Cardano is. Again, uh, it's a it's a Cardano is actually a cryptocurrency platform, and then the ADA is the actual coin on the Cardano platform. What Cardano is trying to what Cardano is trying to do, they they're saying they're a decentralized platform. But uh, they want to be the inter internet of blockchains where they'll be able to transfer different information and data between different blockchain chain sources like Polkadot, Ethereum. And there is a component with peer-reviewed papers as well um, where they'll be able to verify peer-reviewed papers. It's a third generation cryptocurrency. There's only... Uh, 45 billion dollar uh, a billion coins that could possibly be mined they work on a proof of stake system and uh you know Hoskinson Charles Hoskinson was one of the creators of ethereum 
he wanted to obviously for the storyline go over and make his own pl uh, platform that's supposed to be even better, uh, better fees, cheaper fees, quicker than Ethereum, and they're going to be getting smart contracts soon. Once they get smart contracts, they're going to be going into the Gogan era. So there's a lot of uh, catalysts for Cardano that are about to uh, you know happen. And so again, I'm still uh, new into cryptocurrency, so I'm not the biggest expert for. But from the research I have done, those are some of the big words that I wanted to extrapolate on with Gematria and see where it connects up. Okay, so Internet of Blockchains 223, which if you do in the mirror 322, March 22nd 322, Skull and Bones, that could play a role. 97, 344, 119. Peer review papers, 210, 102, which is the mirror of 201, 276, 96. Third generation crypto, 264, 120, 303. Zero is a value placeholder, so 303 is 33, 114. Proof of stake, 147. 57, 177, 60, 45 billion coins equals 259, 115, 308, and 119, 45 billion coins, internet of blockchains, 119, and reverse reduction, so you're seeing connections. And then also, they pride themselves on uh, being able to have scalability, interoperability, and sustainability, and they're saying that's what Bitcoin and Ethereum can't do, but that's what Cardano can do. So scalability equals 113, 41, 184, 76. Interoperability equals 198, 90, 234, 99. Sustainability equals 181, 55, 197, and 98. And then they say they work on the treasury model. Again, I'm still getting up to speed a lot on what cardano does um the treasury model what i think that means is with every fee they have they have a treasury base and so when somebody on the system wants to do an update on the cardano platform it goes through a voting system and they're able to take money from that treasury and put it towards that that project so treasury model equals equals 176 an ordinal 59 in reduction, 175 in reverse ordinal, and 76 in reduction. And then Atala, Atala, this is actually big because there should be news coming out. I think Friday, Atala is a system where it's a centralized system where they're trying to go over to Africa and help them with their, you know, economic security problems with transactions and stuff. So Atala equals 35, 8, 137. And the whole big thing for Cardano, and I, I actually go back uh, to uh, Above Waters Crypto, um, or uh, Waters Above Crypto. I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong, but I think it's Waters Above Crypto. Um, he does gematria with cryptocurrency as well. He does a lot of technical analysis, but he made a great point, and, and he kind of made me he's part of the reason why i got in cardano because he was the first person to really see that it, that it is controlled by the world controllers and um he said it, and he said it's not necessarily if the platform's great or not it's that the people who control the game are going to make it great and once you understand that you get as much as you know that might be a little scary you can understand you know they're not going anywhere anytime soon we gotta dance the matrix if if, if they're going to make it great that means it's going to be here long term that means you can make money and then if you want to get out the matrix like i am and like it should be you can use the money that you made off the system that you were dancing with the system to get out and so i said so thank you for uh that waters above crypto um, go subscribe to his channel. He's doing big things. He's actually been growing really fast. Uh, but I say all that to say, because he had a good quote, it's he had, banking the unbanked, right? It All cryptocurrency, the system is, is banking the unbanked. And it equals 163, 
73 in reduction, which 73 is a big number. And 326, reverse ornamental, I mean, 323, uh, 323 is going to be a pretty big number. And then you have 98, 98 reverse reduction. You can see some of the connections right there. Banking them banked, 98, 98. So, and then also we have cross chain transfer. Again, cross blockchain transfers from like, you know, Ethereum, Polkadot, Bitcoin. That's what Cardano wants to do. It wants to be the internet of blockchains, right? So cross chain transfer equals 210, uh, 210 84, 276, and 114. Obviously, we see the 84 there. We should be hit to 84. Side, train, side chain transfer, 173, 83, 286, 106. So those are the base words for uh, Cardano and ADA. Keep these in mind. Go over uh, these in the video. Pause if you need to and do your own research and maybe you find these numbers somewhere else, okay? But now let's get into my bullish case. Yes, I am bullish on it. And but you know, I gotta go through the, the research and the, the, the motions and show you guys why I'm bullish on it. And if you want to invest, why you should be bullish into it as well if you're investing for the long term, right? I can't, I'm not a short-term trader, I'm a long-term investor. Uh, again, I'm not a financial advisor. Do what you want, your money, but you know, that's what it is. So bullish thesis, let's get into the real nitty gritty, all right? So bullish thesis, obviously we know 56 already. We've, we've went over it in, in, at nauseum. Cardano equals 56, short squeeze equals 56. ADA will surpass BTC equals 56 in full reduction. And we're talking about the pure reduction cipher too at 56. Bam, 56, isn't that a pretty strong connection in the same cipher? That's pretty strong, in my opinion, right? ADA will surpass BTC. And I'm not saying it will. I'm not getting into that, that argument. I'm just saying, vibrationally, there's something there, all right? And there's argument to be had later down the road. We don't know how the crypto market's going to look in 10 years from now. But looking at that and knows who's behind it, possibility. Then we have, you know, Jesuit Wood equals 21 in reduction. Then we have ADA and Guggen equals 21 in reverse reduction. So we have our 21s there, blah. Then we have 42, blockchain. Blockchain equals 42. Then we have Guggen Era, 42, Jesuit, 42, Charles, as in Charles Hoskin, 42. And another thing, they, they're making him look so much, so much like a, a, a Bill Gates type, you know, leaving Ethereum. I'm going to start my own thing, you know, Cardano. And then he actually has like a live feed I saw a little bit on uh, on YouTube yesterday, and from again, I'm new in the market, but from what I've seen, he's more of an animated uh, owner CEO character in the crypto space. So if you're starting to see the storylines and stuff, you can see that you know Cardano has a really good chance of uh, making it long term uh, because you know what uh, Waters Above Crypto said, he uh, they're going to, they're going to be made to the last long term right so we have hoskinson his last name hoskinson 43 reduction cardano equals 43 in reverse reduction and then let's start getting to some of the heavy hitters blockchain internet cross-chain transfer cardano will survive 84 in re reduction the full reduction the, the 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 pure reduction cipher and then ada will beat ethereum 84 in reverse reduction. You see the 84s here. Bop. All right. Again, I can't, I'm not going to sit here and say it will be the Ethereum long term, but you, you have to keep in consideration of what the 84s are in the base words and what we're trying to do for a thesis wise. So look, DeFi 84 reverse ordinal, you know, the Jesuit order 84 <laughs> reverse reduction. So you see you see the conne the connections here right so that's why it's in this the bullish thesis and then you have the mirror of 8448 oral boros you're gonna have to look into that more i know that's sort of important guggenera smart contract equal 48 in reverse i mean in in the regular reduction cipher so you see that cardano will be number one 322 
And Jesuits run Cardano, 88, 322. We talked about his fallen bones, secret society, yada, yada. That has to play a role. And again, I think it's long term. You know, Cardano is going to do numbers because they're going to make it do numbers. And bam, I think this is, you know, one of the bigger the bigger uh, uh, connections that I think makes me very confident on it long term. And let's just go through these 144s. Like I said, there's going to be uh, uh, a lot of quality 144s. Decentralized applications, top cryptocurrency blockchain, Bitcoin will lose to Cardano. Cardano will be number one crypto. All equal 144 in the reverse reduction cipher. And why is that important? Let's go back to the 144. Jesuit order, order equals 144, right? Let's not forget that. And these are base words, and this is why I'm extrapolating off them, right? Let's keep going. Cardano is the best platform, and Cardano banking the unbanked both equal 102 in reduction and 141 in reverse reduction. So you see Cardano is the best platform, Cardano banking the unbanked. That's good for us because we want them to be number one overall, money-making wise. Then Cardano ADA will surpass Bitcoin, 303 English ordinal, third generation crypto, 303 reverse ordinal. And then back to the 141, Cardano is the top blockchain, 141 to go along with Cardano is the best platform, Cardano banking on banked. And then peer review papers, which is important, it's 102 as well. And then obviously anytime you get three threes like that, 333, it, it, it plays a role in everything and like masonry and all that. So uh, top cryptocurrency blockchain equals 333 English ordinal. And we know the 52s and the 25 plays as well. So the Gardano platform is ran by the Society of Jesus, 502 English ordinal. Then we have the mirror of 205, $45 billion coin cap. All right. Then we have the centralized applications Cardano ADA 323 and Cardano will be number one crypto 323 in English ordinal. The same one. Cardano will survive 114 reverse reduction and Cardano ADA will surpass Bitcoin 114 in reduction. So that's the bullish thesis. So I, I mean, obviously, it's, it's a little bit harder to find a, a bearish the thesis. Um, if if you're bullish on on the on a company going long term, but this is what I found, and this is why I canceled out these. Right, even though Cardano is the future of current cryptocurrency equals 188, you know, in reverse reduction is Cardano will never surpass Bitcoin equals 188 as well. And then how I like to do it for a bearish thesis, if they're in the same cipher, the same number, you just got to cancel those out. You can't use it when it comes to interpreting the full picture. So that's what I have on a bearish thesis. Obviously, thinking logically, anything can happen. This is cryptocurrency. Um, you're liable to lose your, your, your coins if, you know, Binance or whatever platform you use to hold your, your, your wallet goes down. So that's always built in. That's a baked in bearish thing. But outside of that, um, I think, you know, long term Cardano is a, is a good play. I've been doing a lot of research a lot of uh, the big heads in the in the Bit, uh, Bitcoin crypto space, they like Cardano. You know, it's cheap right now, so you can get a lot of coins for a lot cheaper. Obviously, compared to a one Bitcoin or even a Ethereum or even a, a polka dot and a lot of other things, and it has a utility. Whether you agree with the utility or not, or if you think it's decentralized or not, or who runs it or not, we're talking about making money off the the coin. The, it has an actual utility uh, in the space going forward. It's going to be the internet of the blockchain. You can see they're already setting it up to be that. I'm not saying it's going to take out Bitcoin. I'm not saying it's going to take out Ethereum, but it's going to have a place in the future, in America, in society. Um, and it's pretty plain to see. And so if you're thinking long term and you don't have any Cardano right now, I'm not a financial advisor, but you know, you could be like me and get a starter position. Um, you know, some people think there's going to be even bigger dip than what we already had seen the last week or so. I hope so. So I can get more coins. 
Um, but a lot of people, even in, you know, the six months to later 2021, they're thinking it possibly could be $3. I'm not in, on the camp that's going to be $100 or $50. Um, I would love it to be, but I'm going to, you know, stay grounded in, in realistic, um, you know, in, in realistic things. So I think $3 by the end of 2021 is is doable um, just based off the research I've done and how the market is volatile. Um, so, you know, it, it won't hurt you to get a position now. But again, this is your money. I'm not an advisor. But that's what I have for you guys today. If you like this video, let me know um, in the comment section. If you want to see a little bit more of, of this, I want to do you know, videos on investments I'm in because it makes me want to do more research. And if I believe in it, you know, I want to give it to my subscribers. I also have a Patreon. If I've helped you make money in LTNC or helped you learn a lot, you know, really consider about, uh, you know, joining my Patreon. Uh, it's only three bucks a month and you help support the channel so I can keep producing content like this. Obviously, we talked about some heavy things in this video about the world controllers. So if this video gets censored, if I get censored in a censorship purge, please join my email list so I can have you and I can reach you if I ever get knocked off this platform for some silly reason. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully, you guys have a good week. We're going to be keeping up with this uh, Cardano price is ending at 122 for the video today. I'm Art Turner. This is Data Productions. Dreams are tangible aspirations where we scheme our dreams into existence. I'll see you in the next video I do. Have a good one.